with more local headlines now, the city of Bryant planning improvements to its local parks and recreation facilities is something city officials say is needed for their growing population. Our Madison Gaffner attended a meeting tonight to find out about the changes and how they hope to fund this 20 year plan. Hi, Madison. Hello, Donna. Well, Bryant City Council and engineering team and of course Parks and Recreation met tonight to discuss a 20 year plan, answer questions before voting on the adoption of that plan at the next city council meeting that's happening on April 30th at 630 PM. Well, one of the great things about a city, a growing city where people want to come and live and work is having a vibrant parks committee and vibrant parks department and vibrant parks. Brian officials, including Richard McEwen, excited about the future plans in store for the city under its new 20 year master plan. And to get here, they've had to overcome challenges along the way, including the A&P tax initiative failing back in November. Uh, we did receive a Metro plan tap grant for $200,000 and hopefully uh, McClellan is currently working on the design. We hope to have that by the end of the month. Keith Cox says this grant is going to help connect current trails like Alcoa and Mills Park, and the hope is more funding will grow parks in areas where there currently are none. Public splash pad that would be free to the community on the north side of the interstate, which is uh, we have a large population there, but unfortunately not a lot of parks. This master plan lays out projects for the next 20 years, and if it's adopted, they hope it will guide parks and recreation in ways it's never done before. Page 258. There was like 44 people on the steering committee that met over 18 months that provided input, and that included city officials, but more importantly, people from the community that told us what they wanted, what the priorities were. Well, the master plan is a way for the growing city to continue to provide family fun, safe atmospheres for all. Many of the council members excited about and impressed about this in-depth plan. I'm Madison Gaffney reporting live with Fox 16 News here in Bryant. Now back to you.